Hey there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Eric's Drink Whiskey. Miller here uh, doing a little solo review of a barrel pick I scored this morning I'm really super excited about. This is Old Elk. Uh, they are a craft distillery out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, known uh, particularly for their high malt bourbon. Uh, but this is actually their weeded bourbon. Um, it's also a single barrel pick from one of my favorite stores here, uh, Jigs Liquors. Just released this morning. Um, I wanted to do a little uncorking, uh, do a little tasting, and uh, get a quick review up for everyone. Um, just because I've, I've been really excited about this pick. So, um, At the advice of some folks who had a chance to try it ahead of time, I did pour a glass here uh, that I've had opening up for a little bit. They say that definitely helps the flavor develop. Um, so I got that going on. But I'm also going to do a fresh pour just to see what we got going on. Um, so Old Elk, uh, again, is a craft distillery based in Colorado. Um, at this current time, they are still using MGP, uh, Midwest Grain Product Distillate, um, but do the, the barreling and everything themselves. Um, this has aged a minimum of five years. Um, and again, it is a weeded mash bill, uh, particularly um, 51 corn, uh, 45 wheat and 4% mal malted barley. So no rice spice to be had in here. Um, all wheat. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so the normal Old Elk weeded bourbon hits at 92 proof. Um, this is actually, I, it must be cask strength, I'm assuming, at 119.4. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm a big fan of high proof bourbon. So really can't wait. Now, uh, Eric's Drink Whiskey, like we said from the onset, we've been wanting to give you those sub-50 bottles. Uh, one thing, uh, we haven't delved too far into craft bourbons, but craft whiskeys are going to hit a little bit higher on the, on the price. Um, just because it takes more for them to do the same thing that like Brown Foreman, Heaven Hill, and those folks do uh, with a smaller operation. That's fine. Uh, there's a lot of craft distilleries out there cranking out really good product, Old Elk being one of them. Um, if, if you have the budget, definitely take a, take a chance on, on craft distilleries. Uh, the regular weeded bourbon retails for about $65. Uh, this retailed for about $75, the, the barrel pick. So, and obviously that's going to vary depending on your store. But uh, with that out of the way, uh, super excited to crack into this and try it. I also think just Old Elk has a really cool looking bottle, a really nice label, and then their uh, their cork stopper uh, actually has the look of like elk horn, so I think that's pretty neat. So again, this is the fresh pour. Um, set that right there. I've got my my one that's opened up. Just kind of swish this around. Definitely get the, get a little weediness. There's like a, I'm, I'm torn between whether it's like a, like a bazooka bubble gum type note or whether it's like a really strong vanilla, like a vanilla complex, like a, a creme brulee or something like that, that sugary vanilla-y, um, just thick, rich. It's got a really, uh, really weird to say in terms of a nose, but like a creamy nose, like uh, it, like just the whole experience is is very dessert-like almost. Yeah, that wheat comes through. That's actually that's really cool, really nice. All right. I'm going to quit nosing this thing and actually take a sip. Ooh, that is really good. Really, really good. Um, right up front, you're met with a nice sweetness. Um, again, it's that kind of vanilla-y, sugary. It's almost like the top of like a, a creme brulee, which is like that custardy with the burnt sugar on top. Like that first scoop where you get that, that caramelized sugar, vanilla flavor, really nice. Um, you get that, that the, the herbal 
uh, note of the wheat, the um, kind of a hard, it's, it's not a grassy flavor, uh, but it's really nice. And then it, it goes into a nice, uh, get kind of some nice oaky spice and then a nice medium long finish. Um, really good. There's a lot of character in this glass. Um, and, and this is just the, the first pour. Um, it's a very bright flavor. And, and that was the, the consensus talking to some folks who had tried it is that it's very bright when you first open it. Um, and then if you let it kind of breathe for a little bit, you get kind of some more, some darker flavors out of it. So I'm looking forward to trying that, but this is really good, uh, right off the nose. Now we've given this guy a little bit of time to open up. Let's see what a little bit of air does to the flavor. That, uh, that initial bright, um, the, the, the bubble gummy, sugary, vanilla -y, um, has, has really transformed into like a really deep, rich, caramely, um, I don't want to, to, to gank the word from, um, one of the members of our local whiskey group that did a review, but it's spot on like custardy, like a caramely custardy. And I think that that nods back to that creme brulee kind of complex flavor that I was getting with the first pour. Just really nice. A little bit of black pepper and ginger in there. Super, super, super good. That's a nice nose. It has done the exact same thing to the flavor. Um, it's such a, a crazy difference. It's a night, you get that nice, thick, creamy, weeded bourbon mouthfeel. Um, that nice, sweet, uh, rich, salted caramel right on the, the very front of your palate. As it fades back, you get some of that weedy herbalness. Um, so a little bit of nice black pepper spice, but then that nice, just kind of medium long hug finish, um, air active. Wow. That's great. So fresh pour was fantastic. Um, getting a little bit, bit of air in it. Um, and, and that'll happen too after this bottle oxidizes some even better, like absolutely fantastic. Mm. So good. So this has been my little mini review of the Old Elk uh, Weeded Bourbon uh, Jigs Pick um, released today, um, January 23rd, 2021. Um, super excited about this. I appreciate you guys letting me share it with you. I hope you've liked it. Um, it's another great pick from just a great group uh, that cranks these out. Now, uh, you're already on YouTube. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, to get notified of when new videos drop. Um, this is the first of kind of several off-cycle ones that we're going to do with uh, new stuff coming out. So you don't want to miss it. Um, like, share, um, you know, send the video to your friends, whatever you want to do. Uh, get the word out that Old Elk Weeded Bourbon is phenomenal. Um, also, we are on Instagram. It's at Eric's underscore drink underscore whiskey. Um, I actually posted a couple pictures from uh, the release this morning uh, up there, uh, as well as on our Facebook page which is at Eric Strink Whiskey, or you can just search Eric Strink Whiskey. Um, not everyone's on both, I understand, so we, we wanted to reach as many people as possible. It's going to be kind of similar content there. The only difference is Facebook, of course, lets you post uh, actual URLs in there, so you'll be able to jump straight to our videos from Facebook if you follow us there. We also have a podcast. It's EDWNCF, Eric Strink Whiskey Non-Chill Filtered. That's the uncut, unedited audio uh, from Eric and my filming sessions. Uh, Obviously, a lot of stuff that has to hit the cutting room floor to make it to YouTube just for uh, time constraints. Uh, but all that is in there, all our crazy conspiracy theories, all our absolutely ridiculous banter. Uh, so check that out if you want to. Uh, but again, we appreciate you sticking with us. Uh, appreciate you sitting with me as I gush over this absolute banger of a, uh, of a barrel pick that I got this morning. Uh, but until next time, cheers.